No, my name is Dia, and uh, I'm unemployed right now. I'm job hunting, and it's not going so good. I got rejected from a job today, and in the email they sent me, it said, thank you. So, the email they sent me, it said, uh, we regret to inform you, but we are looking for a candidate whose skills are more suited for the role in question. Do you know how bad it feels to get rejected from a job for being unqualified? when I'm already lying about my qualifications. <laughs> like nothing on that resume is true. <laughs> that means that even the version of me with two extra GPA points, three extra years of industry experience, and is a disabled protected veteran. <laughs> Dia was unqualified to become a Costco greeter. <laughs> it's hard to find a job nowadays, because uh, everyone's better than me. <laughs> People come out real good nowadays. You ever go to a coffee shop? There's no losers in there anymore. It's just buff people studying. <laughs> I hate seeing a buff person study. <laughs> Choose one, sir. <laughs> it's also hard for me to find a job because I'm still not too sure what I want to do with my life right now. Like last spring, I graduated with a degree in biology, but at that time, I'd also been doing stand up for a while. So I was really arriving at a crossroads in my life, but turns out both paths led right back to my parents' house. <laughs> Just straight home. <laughs> my dad isn't too happy. He actually wanted to Airbnb out my childhood bedroom. <laughs> and I had to sit him down and be like, please, dad, don't make me pay full price. Just give me a discount. <laughs> I'm your son, you know. I have no shame in going back home to live with my parents. It's comfortable living and economically is the right thing to do. Yeah. In fact, <laughs> hang out with your friends who live with their parents. It's so much better. <laughs> Like, why would I want to hang out at John's shitty studio apartment with no hand towels? <laughs> when he can hang out with me and my mom, and she wants him, it's sliced apples for everybody. <laughs> and a sassy joke about being unemployed. <laughs> It's, it's, there's perks to being home with my parents. My parents have Disney Plus, and I'm on there all the time. I've been watching like the original Disney princess films, and let me tell you, those films are so much better once you're unemployed. <laughs> Rewatch them because the target audience for those films, like Cinderella and Snow White, it isn't little girls. Like no little girl is dreaming of a prince sweeping them off their feet. They have like real dreams, like becoming astronauts and shit. <laughs> but a film about a man being like, you want to live in my castle and I'll pay for everything? That's every unemployed person's fantasy. <laughs> That's my happily ever after. <laughs> I relate so much to these unemployed white women. <laughs> snow White, I get her. <laughs> Do you know why her skin is white as snow? It's because she doesn't go outside, because she doesn't have a job. That's why. <laughs> This is what my skin looks like after two months of being unemployed. I used to be black. <laughs> two more months, I'll also be the fairest one in the land. <laughs> Cinderella, that film is different nowadays. When I watched that film back when I was a little girl, <laughs> the whole time I was like, why is her family such evil, malicious people? Then I rewatched it. After moving back home, I'm like, oh, that's just how your family treats you when you don't have a job. <laughs> and the whole film, 80%, those princesses are just doing unemployed people stuff the entire time. Rewatch it, eight from the film, they're just singing to birds and talking to squirrels. <laughs> the entire time, go outside right now, if you see someone singing to a bird, you're not like, that's a princess. You're like, that guy hasn't had a job in a long time. <laughs> Disney magic, you know, like making relations with the animals. I've been unemployed for two months. I now know the name of every chipmunk that lives in my neighborhood. <laughs> I just start my day, just like a gust swats up. That's, that's the two bluebirds holding up unemployment applications. <laughs> 
Money's tight. Uh, I had to start a GoFundMe page recently to help pay for my uncle's funeral. And it's already made his goal $5,000, which is a bit bittersweet because the GoFundMe campaign for his heart surgery did not do nearly as well. <laughs> He's still alive. He still wants the heart surgery. <laughs> We started the campaign for his funeral at the same time we started the campaign for his heart surgery. And I let the people decide what happens. <laughs> the people wanted him to have a bomb-ass funeral. 